Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to Bacon with Candy. Today we're going to be making peach cobbler cupcakes. And we're going to start off by making the, the filling for our peach cobbler cupcakes. So we're going to make it just like we were making peach cobbler. So in the saucepan, I have two cans of peaches. You just drain. I don't cook it in the peach cobbler juice. That is your preference. I drain mine because a lot of water will boil from these peaches so I drain them all the way and then I dump them in a saucepan and then I add my spices so in here I have my cinnamon and my nutmeg and then I am going to add a teaspoon of vanilla And then I'm going to add my sugar and my butter. So I'll just drop that right in. And then I just want to stir and leave this boiling for about 10 minutes until my seasonings, I will incorporate it with the peaches. So that is how it looks. the saucepan and this put a half a cup in my ninja And I am going to com combine this with my sugar. And then I'm going to add my eggs to this. Then I'm going to stop mixing and scrape the sides of my bowl and my attachment, my paddle attachment, and the bottom. Once this is well incorporated and nice and creamy, I am going to add, so this is how it should look. I am going to go ahead and add my vanilla. I normally don't pour over my mixing bowl just in case I spill too much. I'm gonna add my vanilla. I'm gonna sift the rest of my dry ingredients and then I'm gonna start adding that, slowly alternating that with the milk, the buttermilk. So I'm gonna add a little into my mixing bowl. to scrape the sides of my bowl again. And then add my peaches. Scrape 
here I'm gonna size them up one last time before I let this completely mix I already have my cupcake pan lined. I already have my cupcake pan lined. So I use a one fourth measuring cup to spoon out my batter. Some people like to use an ice cream scooper. To me, this probably is a little bit more time consuming, but I find this a little bit easier. So, as you get used to it, you will speed up the process. I just like. I take a fork and spoon out the peaches into my cupcakes. Just fit it right on top. And I'll just do three or four chunks. And the fork allows the peaches to drain so you don't have that much juice. You want to make sure you have peaches left for the, to garnish the top when you're done. But now that I'm finished with this, I am going to pop these in the oven for about 20 to 22 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. So I'll be right back. Now it is time for the cream cheese icing. I use this recipe to stabilize my cream cheese icing to put in one cupcake. I do not add as much as butter or um, cream cheese to it. So it's really like a buttercream mi mixed in with some cream cheese. So I use one eight ounce pack of cream cheese, room temperature, and a stick and a half of butter. And all of this is room temperature. My butter seems like it got a little bit too soft. But if it's not room temperature, then it won't mix correctly. Now the room temperature thing is a little bit tricky because you know, some people house is hotter than others. The temperatures are a little bit different. So you don't want it to be too soft, but you do need it to be room temperature. So while this is mixing, I'm going to go ahead and add my vanilla to it. And then I am going to scrape the sides of my bowl and mix again. So this way my vanilla will be well incorporated into the butter and the cream cheese before I start mixing the sugar so it won't form a powdery, pasty um, texture at the bottom of my mixing bowl. Now, if you need pure white cream cheese or pure white buttercream, 
I suggest that you get the clear vanilla as opposed to the brown because that does change the color a lot. And I use Walmart brand butter. I do not substitute the butter for margarine. So I just started adding a little bit of my powdered sugar at, at a time. I'm going to use the whole entire bag. So that way you do not have to measure or assess. But while this is mixing, I'm going to start preparing my icing bag. Insert this into my icing cup. And I am going to just fill my bag. Get to the middle. Depending on how high you want your icing, you can swirl it around again. I don't like to put a lot of icing because a lot of people take the icing off anyway. And then I'm just going to garnish the top with a peach. And you could drizzle a little of the juice on there as well. So I hope this tutorial helps you all to create your own masterpiece, but thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. I will see you in the next video.